Mike, have you heard that um, you have a whole lot of major super supermarkets trying to phase out their single-use bags? Now. Yes. See, this is what I told you. This yes. is what needed to happen. Am I, am I right? You are totally correct, yes. Yes. But, do you think it'll succeed? Yes. Yes, yes, they will succeed because of the way that they're doing it. Which is? If you if your bag is beyond repair, mm? you can replace it. For free? Yes. And countdown? Yes. But but in saying that New World would also do a relevant response really? towards that. Mm -hmm. Um because they're in direct competition with each other. Right? Anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. I can do anything better than you. But in saying that, speaking of better than you, this is the As Yet Undecided podcast with with your shopping hosts, Mike and Sophie. I know. But in saying that, yeah. um, we need to talk about what happened at the end of the last podcast. No, so she thinks a fish. Yes. We need to talk about Great that. show. Great show. I'm so glad I went. Good. So, how did you find it? Um, I found it pretty stereotypical of what what my expectations of a podcast should be. No, oh, that's of course, Mike. Yeah, there's only ever one way here to really do a podcast. Yeah, so it was just like, but I I, I I will say that your summation about when we initially bought the tickets, yeah, was pretty sound. Which was. Oh, we're almost right at the back. No. <laughs> yeah. All we could see was a human shaped blob from the stage. Yeah. But in saying that, it was packed to capacity, which was 1,609. Mm hmm. Which is pretty big for a podcast. Yeah. We also recorded it live, so do you think our laughter will be part of the soundtrack? I don't think that they would, you know, well, you would gather your, our nuances from, from, you know, the crowd, 20 rows back. <laughs> but they did say they put microphones all over the show, so maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's just to make you feel better. <laughs> make you feel part of the show. Mm-hmm. But in saying that, I, I ran into a New Zealand... C class celebrity this morning. Who? Joe Cotton. Of? Now, she's a little bit before your time. Oh. You would have no idea who she is. No. Yep. But I know who she is. She was? Um, you know, you had that boy band circuit in the 90s. In sync? Yeah. But, yeah, but before that, before mm -hmm. the Spice Girls were created, yeah. New Zealand had their own one. Called? Called True Bliss. I've heard of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Joe Cotton was one of the five singers from that group. Really? And now, uh, she's, now she's lost a lot of weight and now she is a DJ for More FM. That's awesome. Yeah, and I ran into her this morning. Okay. We were just talking away, as you do. Because mm. um, there was a Cadbury truck at Altair Square this morning. Giving out free chocolate? Yes. Did you grab some? Yes. Can I please have some? Not now. No, oh, okay. Because you're having lunch. True. <laughs> so which, so which flavours did you get? I just got a one flavour, which was a dairy milk. Oh, yeah? Yes. Nice. And we just ended up talking like... Like you, you, you know, th this is this is a good discussion. What is the correct etiquette to be around any sort of high class celebrity? Hmm. Because I would think that you haven't run in, into any sort of celebrity status. No. What I usually do is let them go with their day. Treat them like normal human beings. Yeah. After all. They're not always acting. Well, you they're, they're, not so, uh, they're not gods. Yes. I'm not too sure why people treat them like gods. 
uh, it's like I, I didn't have a geek out moment or anything. We were just talking as you normally do, and just like realizing that oh, that's, oh, okay, that's true. What? Yeah, might I have if I had one? Yes, you can have one. You can have a menthol treat. What's a, so? What does menthol do? Like clears your sinus? Yes. And I'll need that. Yes. Menthol. Uh, I think everyone's got head cold. Oh, this is nice. Yes. You've had this before. A long time ago? Yes. Like months ago. Then say that. Mm. How has your week been? Stressful, exams are coming up. How about yours? Pretty good. Um yeah. had my presentation last week. Do you think it went well? Yeah, I thought it went well. Mm. Um people I, I, What I, was I, it about? It was about um global global change. Yes. And um I always speak last in my groups. I always speak last because last is in that position where you talk about a subtopic, but at the same time you're you're at the tail end. Yes. So you need to excite the crowd for no real reason. <laughs> so what I did, yeah, because everyone's so generic that everyone just stands up at the front of the class. And does their presentation with in the right? Yep. Have you done that in the past? Yes. Yes. So what I did is that when I walked into class, I didn't even talk to... No, we, we talked about this beforehand. Yeah. We walked into the class, I didn't even talk to the my mates during the presentation. I didn't even talk to them. Oh, yeah? And I sat right at the back of the class. And you did your presentation from the back? No, what, what, what? Thank you for ruining the punchline for the viewers. Ah. So, because we're in a group of five. Yeah. And every like first person spoke, and the second person got to me, and I stood up and did my speech. Yeah. And people did get like got a little bit frightened. I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And then I made my way to the front of the class. That's a very clever idea. A, mm. a bit of a twist. Yes. So you know, we would get maximum marks for compatibility. Oh, what is what is this? Um, I keep, do you mind opening it? I'll show you. I'll, what I'll what show is you. it? Tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Yes. Tostitos. Tostitos. What are those? Thank you. Tia Pablo. Tortitos. Authentic corn tortilla chips, salted, made in New Zealand, gluten gluten free. Gluten free. Gluten free. Gluten free chalk chips. Ingredients: tortilla, tortilla, uh, nix some. Nixtamalized corn. Nixtamalized corn? Yep. Guagam, cellulose guam. No, no. Guagam, cellulose gum, iron, zinc, niacin, vitamin B, B1, but vitamin B2, folic acid, sunflower oil, flavoring, um, organic rice flour, or salt, tomato powder, organic sugar, citric acid. Tomato powder? Okay. Now. Now, what do what does folic acid do to your system, Sophie? No idea. Now, what you should know yes. is that folic acid is generally used in two instances. One. One. It is generally used in pregnant women mm. to restore the cells within a fetus. Prevent spina bifida. Yes. Because mm. it's all about wanting to complete the, the cells. Oh, uh, yeah. And it is also given to um, radiation slash chemotherapy patients to let them have a couple of days off before their next dose. So basically restore their cells? Yes. So what does it do exactly? Um... No, because because it's a it's a vitamin B complex, mm -hmm. so it just helps restore the damaged cells. How? I don't know. <laughs> Vitamins do vitamin things. Yeah. Very good question. Yes. Because I know that from um, pregnant siblings. Yeah. And you only have one pregnant sibling. Yeah, and being on chemotherapy for a number of years. Mm, wow. I mean, no offence, but compared to other um, families of your social economic status, 
your family's pretty small. <laughs> That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Um, Two kids. Whereas, whereas most of your colleagues would have, like, what? Five or six siblings? Um, now, because... And, and this, this comes down to a a maternity health issue. No, I've got some here. Okay. Um, I'm just very hungry today, I'm sorry. Because of the decreased mortality rates... Oh, yes. Y- y- you know, pe- pe- people didn't give the health system a little, lot, lot more credit in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. Here's the reason in my dad's family, in my, in my parents' family, they come from um, families of five. Yeah. Um, my grandfather's family was a family of 11. Mm. So, um, y- y- you know, it, it, it's not of, of how many kids can you have. It's about how many healthy kids can you have. Mm. Um, do, do, do I think that mothers and parents are lazier now? No. No. Quite the opposite. Um, they, they, they are lazier in certain aspects. Yeah. But because of the way that evolution goes, up, goes about it and the evolution of um, new things and how um, change affects the, the adult mind... Yeah. Um, you cannot control all of the variables. No. So, like, take for example, technology. Mm. Um, the way that I would let te- like my kids handle technology would be a lot different compared to how my sister interacts with technology. So, what does this have to do with the fact that it's, um, your family of two is significantly smaller than most of your colleagues? No, no we're, we're talking about. How infant mortality rates are so decreased now. Yeah. That your parents can afford to have two kids and not worry about you guys dying. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and like my sister quite outrightly said. Yeah. Um, she's only going to have two, unless in desperate circumstances that um, we have talked about in family circles. Such as? Um, surrogacy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because you, we, we talked about that because um, my ex suffered from polycystic ovarian syndrome. Oh, yes. So the likelihood of her to have children was... None. Well, well small. Minimum. Minimum, yeah. Um, so, so that's why my sister... Graciously and selfishly, selfless, selflessly, offered to be the surrogate mother. Yeah. Then your ex became your ex. Yes. Did she cheat on you or something? Yeah. Well, yes, she did because she wanted kids faster than what what I had planned. Okay. Sad times. Yes, and um, she, she she's happy de- dealing with. Um, from what I know, the two kids that she got from her cousin and her two autistic twins. Oh, so she's got twins now. Mm. Awesome. I hope she's happy. Well, I hope so too. Yeah. Um, it wasn't a makeable breakup, right? In the end. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. just like all breakups, that you're not going to get all of the answers. No. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I realised in this breakup, that you know, I like I was so emotional because I wanted answers. I wanted to realise what was wrong with the situation. But and, there's no bitterness anymore. No. No. That's good. It's more <laughs> disappointment that Yeah. Um and, and I know in that particular time I am what she needed at that particular time. Yeah. Um Oh, come on, that just sounds bad. I I say I oh yeah. yeah. I don't need you anymore. Therefore, I'm going to dump you. Oh my god, that's, just, that's I hate that. I don't like those connotations. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> goodness, Mike. <laughs> Relationships advice one hundred and one. <laughs> yeah, but seriously though, please just don't dump people just because you don't need them anymore. That's just 
That's a dick move. Don't be a dick. Yeah. So, does she love you because she needed you, or does she need you because she loved you? I don't know. That's, you know, that's a very good question. That's sort of the conspiracy question, so we won't get answered. <laughs> we, we won't get that answer. It's better see. <laughs> um, so, do you know what's going on with um, the YouTube changes at the moment? The YouTube what? Changes. Um... New algorithms, apparently. Yes. But I'm not too sure exactly what the algorithms would do. Like, the subscribed tab has screwed up the yes, technology. Um, but another thing that really interested me mm -hmm. was um, for conspiracy videos. Oh, yes. They are now going to put in Wikipedia articles underneath the video. Mm hmm to openly say that this is a conspiracy theory yeah and it'll link to link to a page talking about it so a bit like mike's love life isn't that is that a conspiracy theory i don't know i'm not sure if it's a conspiracy or not but we'll get to that at another type of uh, in the podcast another another time another time yeah. but anyway back to conspiracy theories on youtube yeah so that really interests me because you, you know we, as a society, we yeah. need we need verification, right? Right. So, you, you know, if it's a tick on a Twitter box, yeah, um, asking friends for photos. Oh no, but well, for advice, receipts, ma making sure that um, everything's above above board. Yes. So if they make these conspiracy videos, yeah. Having the Wikipedia articles in there verifies that what they're trying to do is the right thing to do in their opinion. Ah, oh, yes. So, like, flat earthers, right? Right. What do you think about flat earthers, Sophie? Their heads are flat. Their heads are flat? Yeah. What? And, and, and it, and it um, posed a great debate in my head about any sort of... You know, if a, if a random physicist went up against a flat earther... Yeah? Flat earther's going to win the debate. Why? Hands down. Why? Because with every argument that the, that the everyday physicist was say to the flat earther... Yeah? Flat earther's always going to have a counter-argument to that. Well, there is only one way we can actually win against flat earthers, and it's to actually send them up into space, make them realise that the earth is round. Yeah, but the normal everyday physicist isn't going to pay for that, are they? No, but surely we can pay for them to be flown to the sun. <laughs> yeah. Maybe to Mercury, that'll be about it. Yeah, like maybe we can fly them to Mercury. They just, you know... They don't, they don't need to be on this earth anymore, do they? Uh... And I think it was. I think it's. It, it, it is a joke taken way too far. What? Saying that the Earth is flat. We're doing it for a joke. Ha 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 ha. No, no, that's definitely taken too far. That's just right. Yeah. And because people, you, because people have people believing you now. Yeah. That's just blame blatantly wrong. And um, over this week, over this last weekend, was the first annual New Zealand Flat Earth Conference. What happened to them? We are. We were they? I don't know. Okay. I know there was a conference. And did they have it on the sloping ground? <laughs> did they have it on a slope? Yeah. Did they have it on a 45 degree slope? Yeah, because that's the... Uh, oh, downward yeah. slope. Yeah. Because if they had it in Auckland, there's, there won't be any flat ground for them to actually have their flat earth conference. Everything will be on a slope. Well, just like going up Wellesley Street then, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, as as much as I want to find common ground with flat earthers, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> what? Common ground. I know, right? Really? Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm good with puns. Yeah. As fun, as much as I want to find common ground with flat earthers, I cannot reconcile with, with their views. Yeah. Especially since there's like a there's far more evidence against them than for them. In fact, there's actually no evidence for them whatsoever. Yes. Huh. Yeah. So, I, I, I wear these last mm. three days. Yes. My co-host has been, has been worried about my 
well-being per se. Because your well-being is crap. Yes, my well-being is crap. Yeah. But in saying that, could you pass over the drink behind you, please? Is this, is this ketamine? No, the, these Tostito chips are a bit dry. Like my humour? Yes, like your humour. I'm glad you got my joke. <clears throat> I've been to the gym twice in the last 12 hours. Does it help? I don't know, we'll find out later. Yeah. Because <laughs> I went at midnight tonight, last night. Yeah? Went to bed at 2. And then I went back at midday. Why midnight last night? Um, let's say I, f I had a suspicion that my neighbours were going to be a little noisy last night. Really? Mm. Because they invited people over? Yes. Sexual partners? Yes. Oh. The, the, were your fears realised or? Well, I didn't hear anything, did I? Because you left? Yes. What are the rules of having sexual partners in the YWCA? They're, they're, you can have sexual partners in the, in the YWCA. Do they have to pay money? They have to pay... Um, well, the first night is free. Okay. And you can have up to three nights a month. Free. No. Total. Total. Um, and it's ten dollars a night. So you're allowed to. So once a month is free. Mm -hmm. And if, and you can have two more nights, but you have to pay, per month. But you have to pay ten dollars per night. Per night, I see. So if if Sophie Sophs wanted to stay over. Yeah. She can. But one, uh, yeah. So, and but, the, I, but I doubt that very much. Well, you never know. Maybe um, I have to get up early for a class or something. Oh, or, or as um, friends have done to me in the past, and you yeah. are more than happy to do that. Mm. If you are stuck in the conundrum. Yep. Yes, I will solve your conundrum. Yay! Thank you, Mike. That's what friends are for, right? Yes, exactly. But, but um, we're not sharing a bed. Of course not. No. Um, um, I'll sleep on the floor. I've got a much stronger back than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like in saying that, I've, I've done this to people in the past. Have you, do you snore? Mm, uh, yeah. yeah, well, the thing is, we never had sexual partners before, really? No. Well, and like, you could have developed a snoring habit now, between you having an ex and you now. Now, the, the problem is I suffer from a particular condition. Sleep apnea? No. Oh, well, that too now. <laughs> that too now. What? Um, do I have to, like, sleep on, the, sleep on this um, armchair to make sure that you're breathing? Like, wake up every 45 minutes? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, um... Well, the, the, the sleep apnea is very worrisome. Yeah? If you wake up and you're gasping for breath... Yeah. That's the tough one. Right. That's never happened. Good. Um, but I suffer, I suffer from a condition where I involuntarily rub my tongue against the top of my throat. Right. Creating a noise very similar to a cicada. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> this has been... So... <laughs> Um, that's the noise that Sophie would recognise is the noise that I make when I eat anything nut based. And you're dying. It's the sound of me dying. It's the sound of me dying. And you do that in your sleep. Yes. It's a lot less than what it used to be. Yeah. Um, but it's it, it's still a part of my life. Mike, why aren't you dead yet? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something's I, keeping you on this earth. I don't know. Antihistamines, maybe? I don't uh, know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Good uh, friends? Uh, Am I keeping you on this earth? Uh, oh, maybe yeah, I'm not doing yeah, it. Yeah, but I've been saying that. What happened to the other 30 years, huh? True. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, like, yeah, but yeah, what happened but to the other 30 yeah, years? Yeah, but the thing is, I, I, I met you, like, when you're in your second bout of depression, or third bout, so it's like...
Second. Yeah, second. Second bout. Oh, no. Third. 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 Definitely third. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely third. I'm like, I'm like, I'll, I came to your life like during your third, through your third low point, so it's like, mm, maybe I'd, maybe it helped you a bit there. Mm. Maybe not. Mm. Maybe I'm overrating myself. Mm. I think I'm overrating myself. Hype woman. Hype woman. <laughs> <laughs> So that's so so that's the thing, right? It's like um. So you went to the, so you went to the gym and you thought that there might be sexual partners. Be, Who's having sex? Yeah. So I'm like, nope. nope. <laughs> and um, if I decide to stay over, I might have to hear your annoying uh, cricket snore. Yes, cricket snore. Yeah. Yes. Welcome, welcome to the fifth fifth test of of this cricket snore match between. England and Australia <laughs> yeah. here at Lords. Yeah. <laughs> and once again Australians cheated. Yes. Again. Yes. Again. I, I actually have no idea what sleep habits I I actually have because I never really sleep slept with anyone. Yes. So apparently, well, I have been to sleepovers and apparently I don't snore. There was one infamous time that there was a school trip to a Marae which was in the Poirier music video. Yeah. I stayed at that mid Yeah. And every, like, the teachers and the classmates had no idea what that what I was doing. Yeah. When I was making that noise in my sleep. <laughs> so everyone was wondering what the cricketing noise was. Yes. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why do why does he do this? I have no idea what's going on. Why weren't we told? <laughs> blah 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 blah. blah. Um, yeah, it's it's been an interesting. So, what's the etiquette for people sleeping in the mud eye if someone snores? You just don't worry about it. It's it, it's all very collective. Like surely someone would actually like pinch their nose and their mouth and wait for them no, to. No, 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 because it's all about the collective. Yeah. So, you know, you let them sleep. Really? Yeah. Even if no one else sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> like, everyone else like wakes up like, oh my god, I did not sleep last night. How about you? Oh, I slept very well. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, like, you have to admit that, you know, in, in collective environments, yeah. there's a lot of compromises in those sort of environments. Yeah. Well, either that or bring headphones. Yes. Bring headphones. Bring bring phone heads. Yes. <laughs> What's the chances of me snoring? Do you think? It must be rather low, right? Um, it'd be about a two, two three percent. Mhm. Two three percent. Do you think I should, you know, like leave my phone on overnight and just record myself sleeping? No. Okay. Simple reason. Yeah. You'll be asking to charge my phone straight away when you come to uni, you're like. Why can I come over? My phone's dying. No, I don't. I just keep my phone on charge overnight while I'm recording. Don't you do that already? No, I don't. Because I'm afraid of a battery exploding. Battery exploding? Yep. Do you have a Samsung? No. Then you're fine. <laughs> Why are you still throwing Samsung shade over that? <laughs> because Be- it's, a little, it's hilarious, right? Because the phone goes boom. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a Samsung S8 Note, right? Yeah, Note 8. Okay, because the thing was, that phone still had was still advertised on a billboard in on in Auckland Airport like two months after it was banned. <laughs> it's like what? But, yeah, well, you, you know, you know the reason why it went kaboomy, right? Faulty battery. Nope. No one actually knows, do they? No, no. There's a reason why. Which is? Um, the problem with lithium batteries mm. is that. When they discharge, yeah, they slightly expand. Oh, really? Yeah. And in this case, they expanded a little bit too much. Yes, <laughs> and caused the kaboomy effect. <laughs> so, boom, boom, pow. Yeah. So you know, for p- pressure plus heat equals boom. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Because they wanted, they wanted their phone to be so skinny and have so much battery. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, pow. That picture, boom, boom, pow. <laughs> Black Eyed Peas have never been right <laughs> since the Ellie Funk album. They have not been right since then. So Ellie Funk is that? That's um. Oh, that's the that's the one. Where's the love? And 
What came afterwards? Uh, you got the elephant one, you had the Boom Boom Pow one. The Boom Boom Pow one comes from END, which is their last one, the engine never dies. Yeah. The end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it was the end. Yeah. Yeah. Because, Literally. because my thing is, is that um, Black Eyed Peas were good until they got Fergie. Oh. They were good until Fergie. <laughs> are, you being re- are you being sexist or do you just don't like Fergie? No, 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 no. no. Their, their music completely changed. Oh, right. It, it got completely generic and poppy. Oh, I see. And I'm like, no. Oh. Go back to the R&B Black Eyed Peas. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. So, you, so it's the same reason why I don't like Coldplay. You. Oh yeah, yeah. The the, the, the parachute album was great. Oh yeah, and how about um? Okay, so parachute was the first one, was Yeah, parachute and then the scientist. This well, that's the thing. I don't know what the album was called. The you know the one, the one 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 with a sketch of half a bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure what that one was called. Yeah, so but... you had the parachute one, which was basically um had yellow with it. It was basically like a yellow globe. Yeah, this around. One. And I never meant to cause you trouble. No, no. Yeah, and now we have a copyright strike. Oh, God. Thanks. I mean, honestly, but to be fair, Coldplay is not as vindictive as Alinity. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn, Twitch thoughts. But seriously though, Mike, is that a rude word? T-H-O-T? T-H-O-T? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. It's It's... It's the context that she was offended by. But in saying that, she did it to herself. I mean, seriously, I wasn't too sure what she should be offended by because it's a, it's a meme. It's quite, Surely she would be able to make fun of herself, right? Yeah, well, like, you know, I, I fully admit that when a friend of mine yeah? is going to be starting streaming, I'm going to watch it. Oh, right. Because she's great. But she's not overly... Sexual? Sexual. Like, she's got a uh, master's in paramedicine. Wow. So I'm like... So she's a bit like me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But she just games. I'm like... Oh, yeah. She's part of the um, Australian Overwatch League. Congratulations to her. Yeah, I know. So I'm like... Yeah. And saying that... Um, Geek Bomb. Yeah. Who was run by Maud Garrett, who was a host on SourceFed that I'd watched for many years. Lord Garrett. Maud. Maud. Maud Garrett. Maud Garrett. I mean, honestly, who would actually put Lord in their um, username? Like, that, show, that shows some... What? What's it? Ego. That's some ego there, mate. Now, um, they talked about what is your top three favourite gaming weapons of all time. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And... Um, I, I have some ideas about what you're going to say, but I'll let you think about it. Okay. My my three weapons mm-hmm. were the proximity mines of Goldeneye. Oh, yeah. Where you have a mine, and if someone stepped over it, kaboomie. Mm-hmm. Um, the Hellgast uh, automatic rifle from Killzone. Oh, yes. Which had a secondary shotgun um, attachment. Yeah. Um, and Scorpion Spear from Mortal Kombat. Cool. For, like, melee attacks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Come here. So I would think, in your respects, knowing the way that I know you... Yeah. Portal Gun would have to be one. Yes, it is! <laughs> <laughs> Except I was actually really thinking about whether I should actually exclude it, because it's actually not really a weapon, it's more of a tool. Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'm a fr- yes, I would actually include portal gun if it was <laughs> a weapon, but the thing is, it's not. It's not really there to kill, is it? It's more to rearrange. Um, h- h- how about uh, involuntary sentry uh, sentry tank from Portal? Nah. No. No, I was thinking I'll shop up three other things. Um, um Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. No, but no. A sword is one of them. A sword? A sword, yes, a sword. A but, p- but what sword? Infinity Sword. <laughs> um, Legends of Zelda. Yes, of course. Hidden Blade. Hidden Blade? From Assassin's Creed. Yes. Everyone knows that. Yes. Um, black. Yes, and, and what's your third weapon of choice? Uh, sniper Rifle. From? 
it's from anywhere basically. I know, but, but but you know, it, do you have a favorite? No, not particularly. I just like sniping. That's all. I mean, I guess you have never really watched me play. Yeah, but pardon. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. If you don't know about Sophie's playing style, she's quite the camper. What's a camper? A camper that just stays still <laughs> and just snipes people off in a multiplayer match. Yeah, it's like bang, 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 bang. Yeah. So like, so like, if I, I'm I'm crap at close combat, but if but I I'll actually just basically stay far away from the field, and you'll never know that I was there. So y- 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 until you find the bodies. Like for instance, if we were playing Overwatch, yeah. we would all know. That Sophie would be Mercy. Mercy? Mercy. Yes. <laughs> you would be Mercy. Or Widowmaker. Yeah, or Widowmaker. Yeah. And I would be Junk Rat. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely Junk Rat. So you're one of the close combat people. You prefer close combat, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm a tank. Technically, I'm a tank. You're even built like a tank. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Yeah. That, 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 that's why I enjoyed superheroes like... Um, Juggernaut. No, no, Juggernaut. Juggernaut, okay. But I will show you a video after this, and it's absolutely hilarious. Oh, yeah? Um, the Hulk. Oh, yes. And the Beast. Ooh. Okay. But in saying that... Yeah? Uh, uh, on that big blocky note, we should end the podcast there. Bang. Bang. Mm. And the bing goes... Up. <laughs> kuh, 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 kuh. That's hot. Yeah. yeah. This has been your hosts, Mike and Sophie. You can contact us on uh, Sprrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr